A new poll conducted in the United States has revealed that an overwhelming majority of the country's millennials want a third political party. Our correspondent Caleb Mopan speaking now to young people on the streets of New York to find out why. In the USA, it's Democrats and Republicans. It's always been that way, a two-party system. Now, some people might think that makes the country more stable, but millennials seem to have a different perspective. Let's break down the millennials' case against the two-party system. Now, 65% of millennials say that the country is moving in the wrong direction, and 71% of them say that they're ready for a new third political party. But wanting to see a new political player in Washington is nothing new. According to the figures provided by Gallup, the number of Americans who favor a third party has been increasing over the course of the last five years. In 2012, it was only 46 percent, but in 2016, it was up to 57 percent. Now, you rarely hear about it, but third parties have actually been around in American politics since the 19th century. Now, why is it that in all these years, an independent political faction has never been able to take the White House? Well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that mainstream media is working overtime to keep people marching behind the elephant and the donkey. I even understand the argument that a third party candidate can put a new issue or a new solution on the table, but it is hard to make the case that that is what's happening here. And to put it on a third party candidate, who we now know that both of the third party candidates out there are very much not qualified either through experience or through knowledge. Now, amid the growing disillusionment with the two major parties, let's see if Americans would really prefer a third option. Do you feel that the establishment parties represent your values? I feel that they are too aligned in like different things, so I feel very independent right now of any uh, support for any party. No, I'm an independent, so. I think both sides are, have valid have, val have valid things to say, and both sides stink sometimes. Not really. Honestly, I'm kind of further to the left than the Democratic Party has room for, and there's nothing on the right for me. If a viable third party emerged that was closer to your values, would you support it? Yeah, I would. That makes sense. But I know it's very hard for those type of parties to get out there. Yeah, I would definitely consider voting for a third party that represented my values. Um, I would if it had a chance, yeah. Some people say if you vote for a third party, you're throwing your vote away. Do you agree with them? Uh, unfortunately, the system has been rigged as such that it ends up being a wasted vote. Like, it shouldn't be, and I think that's wrong. I do. Yeah, I think the way it's structured right now, um, but albeit, you know, local elections being one exception, I think uh, you are kind of throwing your vote away. No, I wouldn't say that, but I can see why some people see it that way, especially when uh, people say, like, I don't know, like Bernie Sanders losing, uh, Bernie Sanders running is why Hillary Clinton lost or something like that. But I don't think anyone who voted for them is a lost vote. Now, as youth in America grow alienated from the two major parties, the question remains, what new political grouping could fulfill the needs of the younger generation? Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.